tomorrow, September 22, 2022, at 9.04 p.m., autumn slash fall officially begins. Guys, events are about to accelerate to a faster degree. Are you guys ready? Because I am. Look at this right here from Insider Paper. Justin, a Putin ally, Sergei Markov, threatened London with a nuclear attack in a fiery morning BBC interview following Putin's claims that he is, quote, not bluffing about using weapons of mass destruction, guys. Here we go. Again, events, events, events are going to accelerate, guys. I mean, we're not making these things up, right? We talked about this. It's going to hit a problem reaction solution. To the guys, so we have a lot to talk about. Get your popcorn ready and stay tuned. It's not looking good, guys, at all. If you go to this week, Donald Trump says he would meet uh, with Vladimir Putin to stop war if he was still president. Very fascinating, huh? If you go here, yesterday, Mr. Trump said, quote, Well, I'll talk to Vladimir Putin. I'll meet with him. I mean, there's no communication with him with Biden, obviously. There's not a lot of communication between Biden and these leaders. They're pretty brutal, and there are people that you have to know how to deal with. And we dealt with them well, end quote. Wow, very interesting, guys, from Donald Trump, right? So all these narratives are boiling up in a pot, guys, even more and more and more, right? Until this volcano finally explodes. Guys, be prepared, because Wall Street Silver Pseudo, depression confirmed. Here we go. What have you been talking about, guys? We cannot make these things up. Everything, literally if not all things, most things we have been saying is coming into fruition. Look at this. JP Morgan CEO warns US, uh, United States is headed toward something worse than a recession. September 15, 2022. Again, it's time, guys. It's beginning. This autumn time frame, right? This fall will be confirmed on what, on what will take place. Will the recent happen this fall or 2024 slash 5, guys? Comment down below. Again, things are looking really bad right now with the global economy and situation as a whole, right? Generally, it could honestly be a few days slash weeks, two months, guys, maximum, honestly. Again, well, guys, it's crazy. I'm confused. Recession likely in 2023, it's already here, right? So a lot of people, all these people, by the way, already, uh, all of these news articles and whatnot are talking about recession, uh, recession this and recession that. Absolutely not, guys. Usually the opposite takes place, right? Or even worse, a depression, shall shall we say. So, again, I would be prepared, guys. This is why I have cash on the sidelines. As well as the DXY is rampaging up, guys. The dollar, right? I, there's so much to talk about. I cannot believe my eyes. What's literally taking place. I might have to go make another video today on my second channel. Talking about the technical analysis side of things, guys. Because DXY is going up. These cryptos are plummeting. So much has taken place. Now, unusual whales to sweet out. Powell, no one knows if we get or if we will get a recession, or if so, how deep it would be. Guys, these people are literally acting like fools, right? They are merely puppets and actors. What to push certain agendas for the NWO? How do, how are people still sleep, guys? Right in in their deep slumber, they need to wake up. Powell, in housing market, in the housing market, we have to go through a correction to get back to normal price growth. Oh, what did we talk about, guys? When the collapse hits, that will be the best buying opportunity for what the housing markets, all of these other markets as well, right? So, we, we already have a game plan, guys. We, we, I, everything's overextended right now, right? Everything, literally all markets. There needs to be a reset, right, to bring everything back to ground zero. So, or, 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 or the zero point, guys. So, and that is why they will collapse this economy. As soon as that takes place, they're going to introduce new laws, rules, and a new, what, system that will govern man once again, guys. Because at least, at least, at least, we, the people, are starting to wake up slowly, guys. Which is a good thing, right? At least people are starting to wake up. That, that we are living in a crazy show. That the world is literally upside down, right? In an apocalypse, what takes place, guys? It reveals the truth, right? 
So there's always two sides to the story like we talked about before. The bad and the good. At the end, it's just one. From Elizabeth Warren. Federal Reserve Chair Powell just announced another extreme interest rate hike while forecasting higher unemployment. I've been warning that Chair Powell's Fed would throw millions of, of Americans out of work and I fear he's already on the path to doing so again. Destroy, 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 destroy this economy. Out of control inflation, right? We already know the game plan. There needs to be a problem reaction solution in order to bring this new system, right? We're heading to a digital era, a digital landscape. Be prepared because I am. Look at this. End time headlines. Wall Street's biggest investors continue to sound the alarm regarding something coming, quote, worse than recession, right? Exactly, guys. It's inbound, but people still don't really see it, right? I'm talking about literally, I'm talking about Dow Jones heading back to like 3 to 5k, guys. A minus 80% plus drop, dump. Do, do you guys know how that, how bad that will be if that takes place, right? Cryptos will be decimated. But wait a minute. We have a hedge. What? XRP. Gold and silver. Right? The, the hedge towards this collapse. Guys, it, I can't believe my eyes. We will be 5A9. And we already are 5A9 steps ahead. Of everyone, guys. We are at the same or on the same level playing field as, as those quote-unquote insiders and the people who control these narratives and agendas, right? The nightmare is not simply the economy tipping into a recession. It is much worse uh, than that. Disappointing data from the BLS could see the economy get stuck. Inflation might come down slightly, but it remains high enough that the cost of imports and items like food remain stubbornly high. Right? They did this for a reason, guys. Just know that. Everything we see, especially major events that takes place in the world today, even a long time ago, I am guess I guess it's from the since the dawn of time. Always pre-planned ahead of time, guys. Planned ahead of time. Watch your growers read out Federal Reserve inflation projections. 2022, 5.4%. Uh, 5. 2023, 2.8%. 2024, 2.3%. 2025, 2%. Guys, I'm not quite sure about this, right? They usually say one thing. The opposite happens, guys. They take us as fools, guys. So all I know is this, guys. By 2025 maximum, the, coll the collapse has already happened. My two best guess right here is either this autumn time frame, 2022 or 2024 slash 5. Now, besides that news, Bloomberg Crypto seed out, Jamie Dimon. Crypto tokens are quote, decentralized Ponzi schemes. Listen to this guys, again. Everything we have been talking about has been coming into fruition. Listen to this, because there's a lot of crazy connections after this. I'm a major skeptic on crypto tokens, which you call currency, like Bitcoin. They are decentralized Ponzi schemes, and, and the notion that's good for anybody is unbelievable. So we sit here in this room and talk about a lot of things, but $2 billion has been lost every year, $30 billion of ransomware, AML, sex trafficking, stealing. Uh, it, it's dangerous. Yeah, I'm a major skeptic. There we go, guys. What did, what did he say? Oh my, Bitcoin has to go. All the bad narratives. He's literally stated Bitcoin, but no other coins, right? Oh, I can't believe my eyes that everything we've been talking about is coming true. Now, look at this. Quote, out of 155 validators on the XRPL, runs, uh, Ripple runs six of them. End quote from Brad Garlinghouse. Now, I want to state this. I'm probably going to get heat, heat for the statement, guys, but... We talked about this before, about this paradox, right? That everything's decentralized and centralized at the same time. I, I'm not... I don't want to be a broken record, guys. I talked about that before. Maybe some other time, I'll say it again. But, watch Guru Sudal Justin, New York judge orders Tether to provide financial records related to USDT by backing. Here we go. It has... Guys, I can't believe my eyes. What is happening? Regulations. Inbound. Get ready. Oh my, is Tether about to fall? Don't forget about USDT, guys. Don't think we forgot about that, right? Of course we haven't. The world's largest stablecoin continues to drown in troubled waters, right? Exactly. This market manipulation lawsuit has been going on for quite some time. Wow. So, 
Wow, the judge preceding the case noted how the plaintiffs, quote, plainly explain why they need this information to assess the backing of USDT with US dollars. Oh my, here we go, guys. I cannot believe my eyes that Tether is about to fall. I told you guys, or we told you guys that it will take place at around the same time external events take place, and as well as Ripple case concludes around that same time, guys. It's like a big bang, so to speak, right? I cannot believe my eyes. Tether, 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 your time has come. Justin, Tether agrees to pro uh, produce court requested documents to establish the reserves back in USDT. Now, will they truly? Because they say that this so many times, right? Quote, we had already agreed to produce documents sufficient to establish the reserve backing USDT, and this dispute merely concerned the scope of documents to be produced. As always, we look forward to dispensing with plaintiffs' baseless lawsuit in due course. So what do you, what, I mean, guys, I'm so fishy of, um, and I'm so wary of a tether USDT. I'll just be careful, right? Because this is a literal ticking time bomb. A literal ticking time bomb, not financial advice. Everyone has their own opinions though. From Bitfinex, Tether is lying. Tether wanted to produce documents sufficient to establish the reserve backing USDT. In their mind, these documents are what they put on their website. Nothing the plaintiffs haven't already seen. Oh wow, they already sent the plaintiff to a BS pie chart basically. Come on guys. I just want to say this guys. There's a reason why they don't want to show the backings, right? The reserve backings. Obviously, there's a reason. Any two-year-old would know that, guys. So this is why we got to be very cautious, guys. So much is happening. I cannot fathom. I cannot even comprehend what's going on anymore. There's literally news coming out every day from all sides, right? Crypto, external events, black swan, autumn. Black Swans, be prepared, possibly, guys. Last but not least, Eleanor Toretta, sweet out on a later note, guys, for the video. As we see, Brad Garlinghouse dunked to be idiot at Mainnet 2022. Here we go. Come on, Scott. Come on, Scott. Come on, Scott. I have an There we go. Damn, guys, look at Brad Garlinghouse. Literally just, I mean, how can anyone be worried? Is my question, how are you worried, guys? He's literally having so much fun. We are in good hands, guys. Purse of beer. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you had to please advise, it's in the end, guys. See ya.